Today we're going to be reading a story called Tomas and His Sons. Before we begin, please take a look at the pictures associated with this story and make a prediction about what you think the story is going to be about. Now that you've made your prediction, let's begin. Tomas and His Sons Tomas was a hard-working farmer. His vines produced the best grapes of any vineyard around. It is the soil which has been tilled for years, he told people if they asked him his secret. Other times he said, Mexico's sun gives the grapes no choice but to grow large and juicy. Over the years, Tomas's stories became more inventive. But Tomas knew why his grapes were the best. For generations of hard work had kept the land plentiful. Hard work was something Tomas knew well, but his sons, Eduardo, Miguel, and Luis, were the three laziest boys in all of Mexico. While their parents tilled the earth under the hot afternoon sun, the boys slept. As the sun bent toward evening, the brothers rose. They stumbled into the kitchen. They filled their plates with eggs and tortillas. By nightfall, they were wide awake. Soon, they were off to the village to sing and dance until morning. Now, what is the order of events of the boy's day? First, next, and last. Let's continue with our story. Tomas worried about the land. What would happen once he and his wife, Maria, were too old to work? Their sons showed no interest in the vines. Once Tomas had asked the boys to walk through the vineyard with him, he again told them about their ancestors bringing the vines from Spain. These vines tell our family's story, Tomas said but he knew his words were lost on the boys. The farm's success was not as exciting as last night's fiesta. One afternoon under the calabash tree, Tomas brought his worries to Maria. What can we do? Tomas asked. The vines will perish unless the boys learn to plow the earth. Now we're going to make another prediction. What do you think Tomas will do after he brings his worries to Maria? If you said that you think he will come up with a plan to teach his boys a lesson, you're right. His farm is really important to him, so I think he will find a way to keep it alive. Let's continue with our story. Maria knew the boys valued a warm night under the stars. Why would they want to work in the heat of the day? There must be a way to get the boys to plow, Maria said. Let's brainstorm ideas to find one that will work. Each day, Tomas and Maria sat under a calabash tree and talked over their problem. One day, when it seemed no original ideas would ever come to them, a gourd fell from the tree. Maria picked up the gourd, turning it in her hands. She remembered something that had worked in the past. Of course, Tomas, said Maria. The boys need a purpose, a real reason for doing something. Last year, Luis could not find his gourd drum. His room was a mess. His clothes were lying all around. It was not possible to find his bed, much less a small gourd drum. The only way to find his drum was to clean his room. And did he? asked Tomas. Maria smiled. He did. Once he had cleaned, Luis found his great treasure buried under a pile of shirts. Tomas thought about this. Maria, he said after a while, what if the boys believe a treasure is buried in the vineyard? Would they dig to find it? I think I think that's just the motivation they need, Maria said. The next day, Tomas told his sons he had been keeping a secret. 
When our ancestors brought the vines to this land, they also brought a great treasure. I believe it is buried in the vineyard. For years I have tilled the earth to find it. We will be rich beyond belief once it is found. Right away, his sons declared they would help Tomas find the treasure. Let's stop for a minute. What is Maria's idea for persuading her sons to work? You're right. Maria and Thomas try to think of a solution for weeks until one day Maria sees a gourd falling from a tree. The gourd makes her think of a time when Louis was motivated to clean his room because he needed to find his gourd drum. They decided to come up with a plan to tell the boys that there was treasure buried in the vineyard somewhere in hopes that they would till the ground to look for it. Let's continue our story. Many happy seasons passed with the family digging together in the vineyard. The sons were amazed each year to see the big juicy grapes. Even more, they were thrilled by the wealth the crop had brought them. One day, long after the farmer's sons had taken over the vineyard, Luis asked his brothers, have we found the great treasure yet? The three brothers began to laugh. They had forgotten that they were digging to find treasure. Yet all their hard work made them realize that their vineyard was a treasure. It was